2015 marks the 10-year anniversary of the Lower Colorado River Multi-Species Conservation Program, or MSCP, a comprehensive ecosystem-based habitat conservation plan program. Approximately 1,119 square miles of Arizona, California, and Nevada are impacted by the program, from the full pool elevation of Lake Mead to the basin's southerly international boundary. The Lower Colorado River system is a critical water, hydroelectric power, recreational and cultural resource for more than 25 million people and 2 million acres of irrigated agriculture. It is also home to thousands of plant and animal species that rely on habitat associated with the Colorado River. There are 26 species covered by the MSCP, including the following seven which are endangered or threatened. The threatened western yellow-billed cuckoo, the threatened desert tortoise, the endangered Yuma clapper rail, the endangered southwestern willow flycatcher, the endangered bony tail chub, the endangered humpback chub, the endangered razorback sucker. This 50-year program involves 57 participating agencies, states, tribes, and non-governmental organizations. Its estimated total cost of $626 million is split 50-50 between the federal government and the Lower Colorado River Basin states of Arizona, California, and Nevada. Of the state's share, California pays 50% and Nevada and Arizona each pay 25%. The MSCP is one of four environmental programs in the Colorado River Basin. The three others include the Upper Colorado River Native Fish Recovery Implementation Program, the San Juan Basin Recovery Implementation Project, and the Glen Canyon Dam Adaptive Management Program. These programs balance the needs for water and hydropower with the protection of endangered and threatened species, many of which are covered under all four programs. In addition, the United States and Mexico recently adopted Minute 319, which authorized a one-time pulse flow that was implemented from March through May 2014. The principal engineers of the International Boundary and Water Commission in the United States and its sister agency in Mexico will issue a joint report by December 31, 2018, evaluating the environmental benefits of the pulse flow. The MSCP has made significant progress towards its goals over the last 10 years, including the establishment of over 4,600 acres of habitat along the Colorado River, producing and stocking native fish, and constant improvement of the program through an adaptive management process. Eleven conservation areas have been developed as part of the MSCP. Some of the more notable projects include the Laguna Division Restoration Project, which utilizes existing water delivery infrastructure to effectively balance water deliveries for habitat creation and conservation. Non-native salt cedar trees were removed, and in their place, 200 acres of open water, marsh, and more than 800 acres of cottonwood willow and mesquite were established to create an integrated mosaic of habitats. The Yuma East Wetlands Project combines ecosystem improvement and economic development in the Yuma area under a unique partnership between the City of Yuma, the National Heritage Area, Reclamation, and the Ketchum Tribe. Approximately 390 acres of marsh, mesquite, and cottonwood willow habitat have been restored. The Big Bend Conservation Area Project was developed as a collaborative conservation and community outreach partnership among the Bureau of Reclamation, Nevada State Parks and Wildlife Agencies, and the Southern Nevada Water Authority. The project is adjacent to part of the Big Bend Colorado State Recreation Area and provides an opportunity to educate the community about the MSCP. The site includes 15 acres of backwater habitat for three native fish covered under the MSCP, including the flannel mouth sucker. The Palo Verde Ecological Reserve is located on former agricultural lands acquired by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. It provides a restoration of native riparian habitats through the use of simulated flooding. Over 1,000 acres of cottonwood willow and mesquite bosquets will provide habitat for the southwestern willow flycatcher, yellow-billed cuckoo, 
and other species. The Cibola Valley Conservation Area is located on former agricultural lands that have been deeded to the Arizona Game and Fish Commission. It includes blocks of restored native riparian habitat where cottonwood willow and honey mesquite were planted to create a riparian plant community similar to what was historically present in the Colorado River floodplain. The MSCP employs adaptive management in order to learn by doing. This enables its actions to be revised and money to be reprogrammed as appropriate in order to address species and habitat needs based on management outcomes, new research, and monitoring information. The program also must respond to a range of emerging issues like drought and invasive species. And its adaptive management process provides a framework for seeking solutions to these and other challenges. Over 200,000 razorback sucker and almost 60,000 bony tail chub have been stocked in coordination with state wildlife resource agencies like the Arizona Game and Fish Department, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the Nevada Department of Wildlife. The MSCP is investigating changes to the fish rearing environment to improve the physical condition of fish prior to stocking. The MSCP is a very successful regional effort to improve the status of species and habitats in the Colorado River Basin. The program's success is based on two key elements, strong leadership and inherent flexibility. The MSCP's leadership is provided by a steering committee with wide representation by the funding entities representing land, water, and power interests. Willing cooperation between both federal and non-federal parties allows for effective, coordinated efforts to address critical habitat and species needs. And the structure and management policy create an inherent flexibility for this 50-year program. This enables those involved to problem-solve as new issues arise and to adjust implementation and management accordingly. Ten years in, and with solid progress made, the goal of the multi-species conservation program remains the same, to achieve a sustainable balance between the needs of the region's intricate ecosystem and the needs of over 25 million people who depend on the water, power, cultural, and recreational resources provided by the Colorado River system.